Now, I used to do a lot of YouTube videos, but I haven't in over a year, and uh, um, just thinking the other day I should start doing them again. Um, so this is what I'm working on. I, I've got uh, uh, a big project, and I need a lot of different ellipses, and they've got different major and minor axis, um, different uh, degrees. That's uh, you know really shallow ellipse versus a circle. Um, they need, uh, um, and some of them are variable, so they're not quite pure ellipses, but they're pretty close. Um, and so I want to show how I'm going about making them. And you can see they're welded up into quarter sections. Um, and I'm going to show you how I make those quarter sections. So forgive me, I'm just getting over a cold, so my voice is a little bit rough. But So I've got this uh, JD Square Hydraulic Two Bender. It's got a hydraulic ram here. A uh, little pump down there. Um, this big die that it pulls. Um, um, well, this guy kind of wraps the tube around the die. And this one's in the process of being bent right now. Um, I've got little marks every four inches that I can line up. And you can see the numbers that I've written on there. And that's how many degrees for each little bend. Um, and you can see it's five degrees here. And at the end here at seven. If it was the same amount of bends or degrees per bend all the way through, it would be a circle. But since we're making ellipses, it, it changes um, as you move throughout. One of the modifications I did, um, I built the stand. It's got a big beefy stand. Um, but this was the original um, protractor on here, and this was the original indicator. They actually kind of acknowledge that it's kind of hokey. Um, but uh, I didn't like using that, so I laser cut um, and etched uh, this one. Uh, machined this little block, uh, this indicator with a little notch. Uh, the notch shows me how much I've overshot the, the line. Um, another modification I did is this is the bolt that pushes in against the tube, and you probably can't see in there, but I uh, uh, buttered up the tip of that with some silicon bronze and then turned it flat on the lathe, and uh, it's no longer marking the tube. They used to do pretty good sized gash in there, um, and now it's just really, really clean um, on there. So I'm doing these quarter sections. Um, I've got this paper template on this rosin paper. Um, and I can, uh, you know, double check all my bends and put it within the lines here. Um, I made this little guy that I can line up um, with uh, uh, the lines across here and then trace where it needs to get cut. And then I'm just doing the cuts over here on the bandsaw. Um, and you can see pile of drops there. There's eight drops per ellipse. Um, I got 20 ellipses to make, so. Um, let me show you how the paper template. Um, the paper template is actually projected from that LCD projector above my welding table down onto the table, and I can actually draw that out there. Um, and I get that over here from AutoCAD. So, excuse my messy desk, but um, if we zoom in here, this white, um, that's my welding table, and the red is um, the projection area. So I can take uh, whatever object here, um, copy that, and if I drop it into there, and then, um, if I zoom to this red um, box, um, zoom to window, and then I actually have it set so that it's my home viewport, um, this will be projected onto my welding table to scale. Um, so what's 59 and a half inches, uh, you can throw a tape measure on it, it's 59 and a half inches. Um, one of the things I did that I regret now is I bought a cheap projector. Um, it doesn't have keystone correction. So while the red box allows me to scale anything I drop in here um, will we'll come out to scale on my welding table. Um, in the X direction, it doesn't, my projector doesn't allow for correction in the Y. Um, and so 
59 and a half will measure 59 and a half, um, but this 12 and 3 eighths will actually um, come out closer to, uh, uh, oh gosh, uh, uh, maybe like 13 and a half or so. So um, what I've been doing is tweaking them um, this uh, fourth column here, um, or the first column of four, is actually uh, that ellipse that's been um, um, stretched in the y direction in order to have uh, the projection be the right direction. So when I measure this here, it's not correct, but when I measure it on the welding table, it will be uh, correct. Um, so that's how I've been getting around that. Um, and then as far as the angles go, um, I just took a uh, four inch line segments and I just rotated them around and just, um, you know, snap to intersection, um, and in each little segment ar around here, and then just went through and found the degrees and it's been pretty accurate uh, as far as, uh, uh, getting the ellipses that way. So anyway, you can see my finished pile, my to-do pile. Um, that's kind of what I've been up to, and I'm hoping to get into the habit of doing some more videos now. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching.